we're on a road heading towards the town of Ruby, the ghost town of Ruby. And this is the outlying scenery. Beautiful country, awful rugged. Nothing back here but border patrol. They're even on horses back here. Quite the talented cameraman that I am. I'm driving and taking a picture at the same time. We made it to Ruby, the town of Ruby. Here we are. By the way, Ruby is a ghost town. Welcome Ruby, Arizona. Thursday through Sunday. What's today? Thursday. It's open today. $12 per person. Fishing. You can fish here for $18. Camping, $15. Group rates available. What does it say? Other days by appointment, Monday through Wednesday for information. History tours, Pima Community College. You don't have to read it this to them. This is private land, caretakers on premises. Well, we checked in with the caretaker and it's okay to take video, so here we are at Ruby. There's a lake. I don't remember. Was there a lake here before? Yeah. Lo and behold, they have water. I don't think you could drink it, though. But they probably did well, at one time. Right there. They probably did at one time. I'm trying to. Can't go in the mine. That's too bad. I would like to take some shots in the mine, but you can't go in there. There's that mine entrance right there. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. And behind the lake, there's like tailings of some sort. But you're not supposed to go back there. I'll try to get a closer shot of it. It's it's like the the t tailings of the mine, I, the dust or whatever of the mine. You're not supposed to walk on it. Bill informs me that this was a gold mine in the 1920s in the town of Ruby and then later on turned into a lead mine. Now we're going back to where they dumped the tailings and they say do not walk on it. Maybe it's like quicksand, I don't know. Quicksand. <laughs> You'll sink to the bowels of hell if you go back there. Look at, oh I guess we can come back here. This was roped off though. Yeah. There's a place to take like a little picnic. Look at the dust stuff. The dust stuff. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I don't know. We can come out the other side, I think, Bill. Are you sure? Yeah. Here's a... What do you call... What do you call this when it's... Tailings. I mean, a ramada? Or what do you call that? Yeah, ramada. Here's a ramada. <laughs> I'll try to... I'm always pushing the wrong way on the zoom. Put it in drive, Bill. A ramada on the salt dunes of 
Escalabon. I don't really know what these buildings are, but it's the town of Ruby, the ghost town, that was thriving in the 1920s. I believe this one here that I'm looking at now is a cafe, Casey's Place, I believe. It's hard to believe that there was actually people here in the 1920s. But there were hundreds of people here. I'm going to try to get closer to these buildings. What I can't figure out is they must have had electricity at one time because look here in the ceiling there's an electricity cord for a light. So I suppose they had electricity in the 20s. I don't know how they would get it back here. Maybe a generator of some kind. Then we're going to go over to what appears to be the cafe of some type. Casey's Place, I don't know. Do I dare go in there? We'll see. This is an old building of some site. I'm going to bring the camera up to this building and see if is. they had electricity in that. It looks like the post office or something. I don't know. It had to have been the post office. I'm guessing the post office. Now we're at that building, and we don't know what it is, but it's an old building. Yes, indeed, they had electricity. I don't know how, but they did. They had electricity. There's the old wiring. And there's the plumbing. There's some of the old plumbing. It's all gutted out. You gotta watch where you step. It's too bad that they can't revive this town and mine it some more. But I suppose the mine is empty now. It's dried out. No gold left, probably. Probably no gold left in this mine. Once again, proof that there was electricity here. Once again, proof that there was electricity here. I think we can go up to this building here by this road here. This is the mine. Some kind of old building. This is the mine shaft. And this building says stay out dangerous grounds. Billy, you're not supposed to walk around here. Yeah, but they say the ground could fall through. The town of Ruby again. Such a tragedy that is shut down. <laughs> Some say people used to camp on the on the on the hillsides. More people camped in tents than they did live in buildings.
the mine shaft. Incredible. I wonder how it goes into the mountainside. I don't see the opening anywhere. Go up and look. And here we are at the school in Ruby. We'll go inside and take a look. In the back. Can you imagine what it would be like to go to school here back in the 1920s? Here we are in the main schoolhouse. Old trunk of some sort, I don't know what that is, but here's the blackboard. Went all the way across the road, and there's more. There's on the side and on, on the other side. On the side in the front of the room. An old typewriter and radio. Get a load of this. Here's their electricity. <laughs> Where did they plug in? Well, I don't even know what that is. Maybe that's their generator. A little heater of some type. And we go from first grade to fifth grade. Look at the old piano. I imagine I would have spent many a days in the corner if I went to this school. I didn't go in this room. It's the same. It's, it's all the same. Everything's the same. What's this? Here's a blackboard, a bulletin board. Smokey the Bear. Well, oh, here's some tailings or something. We'll take a look at that. Well, some old nails. Some tailings. Must be what they pulled out of the mine right here, these tailings. There is an old building up here. I don't know what it is, though. Okay. Now, this is the Ruby Jail. Uh, this is the jail. I was mistaken before. Take a look at this door. Take a look at this door. That is the jail. I wonder if there's somebody in there still. All oh, bones. The Ruby Jail House. It's locked. You can't get in there. Bill tells me this is the store. He called it the Mercantile. And he says that's a clothing store. So we have to go by what he says. Here is Mr. Primner's house. Whatever, whoever he was. I'm a citizen. A citizen of Ruby. Should we look in Mr. Prifner's window? He didn't have a very big house. He needs a new roof. Mr. Prifner's house. 